big PvP update. We're gonna be talking about SBA forgiveness portal. If you're on to the channel, of course you guys gotta like and subscribe. That way you guys are in tune with the latest and the greatest information. As always, if you have not already, go ahead and check out my previous videos. I've actually got a few skits and a few um, reactions on my channel discussing the PPP loan fraud, discussing other types of the PPP as well. And as always, I really do try to help um, you guys the best way that I can. Um, so feel free to drop a comment concern below. Let me know if you guys need help. Now today we're gonna be talking about the forgiveness and the forgiveness portal. Hopefully by now you guys have um, accessed it or you may have access to it right now. Go ahead and do the uh, forgiveness portal. Um, I'm hearing people, and there are reports of people actually getting funded within 10 minutes. So you can go ahead and get that PPP loan, forgive. Um, just make sure you meet all the requirements um, and all that good stuff. So um, I don't know exactly the requirements each lender provides. I do want to let you guys know uh, nine times out of 10 that there is a, um, there's something that needs to be done there. All right, there's something that needs to be done. So like I said, let me know in the comment section where you guys stand, and then I'm gonna get right into it. Give me one second, I'll pull this up. Has anyone applied for forgiveness and is still in the submitted to lender stage? It's been over two weeks now and no update. Now, usually guys, this would take five to 10 business days to actually complete sometime sooner. Um, yeah, so even though, you know, it's been two weeks, no update, they are still processing it. You know, they are still processing it. They know what they have to do. They know at the end of the day what needs to be done and they are still processing it. It does just suck when it's, um, you know what I mean? It sucks when you haven't heard anything. Um, you know, you got some people, it take weeks, some people take minutes. You know, I've heard reports of people getting funded or I'm not funded, but um, getting their SBA forgiveness approved within 10 minutes. They apply and 10 minutes later it's been approved. So um, that's something you guys want to look into. But for the most part, sometimes no sign is a sign. And that is good. Just double check the portals. Make sure that everything is legit. Make sure everything is correct on there. And for the most part, you won't have anything to worry about, guys. Um, it's just now waiting to see if it's forgiven or not. But at the end of the day, you will not have anything to worry about. Not at all. So, um, yeah, let me know where you guys stand. I. You know, I've heard of people in this situation, so um, and I told them, you know, five to ten days it may take a little bit longer, um, but at least you're in the system and processed. So no matter what, you are in the system, you are processed. Um, you know, they can't take that away from you. You know, so I know a lot of people say, "Well, what's going on? I was approved, I was denied, I was approved again." Um, can they really do this? And if you guys don't know, you guys see um, a lot of these places, they actually can. Um, they can take their time, but every business is different. So um, take that into consideration when you're dealing with these companies and these lenders and these banks. Everybody's situation is, di is different. And um, I preached that before, meaning your business A could have 20 employees. Um, XYZ, XYZ, employee B can only have 20, you know what I mean? So there's, that's a big difference, about 100 employees, you know, so that is a big difference. But at the end of the day, it's going to be needed, guys. Trust me, it is going to be needed. But um, yeah, and in the beginning, when you get these loans and stuff, get numbers, get names, that way you can easily, easily call them back. Now, um, if you guys don't have any more questions, Feel free to like and subscribe. That way you guys are on tune and you guys are in the contest for Cash Apps, Chime, whatever the case may be. As always, stay loyal, stay blessed, stay true, stay you. And before we even, you know, uh, before I begin to some of these comments, I don't let you guys know that 
they can for sure do this, you know, um, and the sad part is they can really do whatever they want, even if they don't have the proper information, you know, it could be a system trigger or a glitch in a system that actually reverse the funds or they can get you denied. So it really all depends, guys. Um, but like I said, everybody is different, but they can 100% for sure do this. Um, you're dealing with banks, their agreements, you know, and, and for the most part, too, you know, when we sign up for these banks, whether it's indie banks, um, traditional banks, and they're fine print on the agreements, we actually sign off on a lot of this stuff and don't even know what we're signing off on. You know, some of these agreements are 10 pages long and we just sign our name, not even knowing what we're signing at all. You know what I mean? So, yeah, let's get into some of these comments. They begin to say they can absolutely return the funds to the bank, issuing the SBA loan. It would then be up to them to issue the funds to you after that if it continues with its insurance. Um, suspected fraud is enough for them to defer to the issuing bank and SBA to investigate and release after that. If you have all the needed business documents to confirm everything on your app, there is nothing you need to worry about, which is true. If you have the proper documentations that everything is legit, you really don't have anything to worry about. Now, a lot of people, and we talked about this in the past, they were using their cousins, their sister's credentials, their sister's documentation. Then maybe you should have something to worry about um, and they may have suspected something going off or something triggered it being a fraud. But um, if you guys have 110% your own documentation you can prove that um you know the loan is legit it's in your name your business xyz you should be 110 percent um sure and one thing that is though as well make sure you get emails phone numbers the people you talk to or you know make sure you get the proper information that you need and people that you talk to in the process now um somebody said yep we do it all the time what do you all the time lock accounts? Is it fair to say withholding funds on a closed account for over 60 days with no explanation is protocol? And they begin to say yes. If we suspect fraud, we will place a hold until we can verify the docs. 60 days is really long. How much was the loan for? Are you sure it wasn't returned to the lender already? Somebody said, I'm not worried. I am PO'd because I purposely left my loan sit for a while I didn't try to move any of it or do anything against policy. I simply updated my phone number, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so they basically 